So just now we have discussed two independent sample non-parametric tests. And you can see already in terms of the calculation, it's very easy. Okay? You don't have to calculate the mean, you don't have to calculate the variance. You just need to assign the rank. So that means that for all your data set, the first thing you have to do is to arrange your data for each sample. Okay? So now we're going to move to the still two sample test, but this time we're going to deal with the pair sample. Similarly, we're going to use the non-parameter test. So the, the non-parameter test we use for this uh, pair sample is different from the independent sample. So the, the test you're going to use is the two pair sample rank testing. So we're still using the rank. So for non-parameter test, the only thing you can use is a rank. Okay, most of the non-parameter test, regardless is a ANOVA, uh, varies, which you use to replace ANOVA, or many new tests that you use to replace the two sample independent t test, or the Spamman correlation test that you use to replace the Pearson correlation test, all of them using the rank. Okay, but the way they use it is slightly different, but you use the rank. So the test that can be used to, to as a as a as an alternative to the pair sample t test is a wing coson psi rank test. Okay. So the wing coson is the name of the test. Then you can see the psi and also the rank. So that means that they put some size on the rank. So they're going to have just now we have uh, two sample, right? Okay. And you have a uh, total rank for the first sample, total rank for the, the sum of the rank for the second sample, for independent sample t test, correct? Okay. So this is the same data, test, data set that we use. Okay. So similarly, like the two sample pair t test, you need to calculate the difference okay, between the two variables, the pair variables. Okay, so this is a difference. So the difference now is you have to rank them. Okay, instead of rank the variables, the original S and Y variable, you will rank the difference. Okay. So in this case, you just need to put a rank. So now you can see that a lot of the rank is a similar number, right? Okay. So when you do the rank, you can see the formula here. They 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 will ignore the they will ignore the sign, eh, whether it's a positive or negative. Okay, you see this? More they put a difference in the modulus. Okay, so that means that the three and negative three they should be at the same rank. Okay? So we can start to do that. So the first one is this one. Okay, this is the smallest one, so we put one. So the second one is this one and this one. So this is tr two and three. So two plus three divided by two, then you have 2.5, 2.5. Okay, so you just keep doing this. Okay. Then you have all the rank. Okay. Then the next thing you have to do is to Sign the rank. Okay? So that means that this one is number six, right? The, the rank is six. And somehow you need to put a sign here. So you just move all the value to this side. The positive one just remain as positive, but the one which the difference is negative, then you have to put a negative sign here. Okay? Then the next thing you have to do. You need to find the critical value for t. Okay, so this is not a t test, eh? you see? Eh? Okay. This is a capital letter T. Okay, there's a T table. Alpha, the tail, and also the N. So first you sum up all the positive rank and also sum up all the negative rank. Okay. So for example, the negative is six. So you just put six, then you only have one. So the positive one is 2.5, 6, 6. Okay, just sum up all the positive one, then you get 30. Okay. 
So what you need to do next is just compare the smallest sum of the rank, the sine rank. So either the positive or negative, you select the smallest one. Okay, select the smallest one. Okay. If the smallest one okay, is smaller than the critical value, then you, you, you will reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so in this case, this value is larger than this one, so the null hypothesis is not rejected. Okay. So now you learn how to read the critical T and compare the critical value with the calculated value for the T test, non-parameter two independent sample test, and also non-parameter non-parameter pair sample test. Okay.